What's up everybody, it's me here, back with another video, and today I'm going to review Relativity, which is a pretty fun song, it's got a pretty fun acoustic section in it, or sort of a blend of different uh, vibes in that section, you know, I wanted to have three different sort of styles in the same section, which repeats itself three times, and that's pretty cool, and I think... This song has got some potential and it might be the best song on uh, my debut album, which will be out probably after the next track, which will be the last track. And I, I have to fix quite a bit of things with the songs first though, because um, there are things that you can say that, that these songs that I've already uploaded are like demos and uh, there are quite a bit of things I need to fix. But overall, I think it looks pretty good, you know. But also I have to say, and this is gonna be a big talk right here uh, before I stop the song, but uh, I have to say that the the previous sound card that I've used, I've used three different ones, and uh, one of them pr like doesn't really work. And uh, the other one is uh, the first one I had, which is uh, a Focusrite, Scarlet Focusrite. And uh, it's got so, some form of like permanent distortion and you can hear some like metronome leakage and whatever like from the freaking hardware. So, um, but I don't have that. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't have that like anymore, you know, I got rid of it. But, um, and I got this new pretty like sound card, which there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. It uh, records pretty crisp things, you know, like when you don't have it like a permanent freaking ghost distortion, it all sounds uh, pretty, very much better, you know. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I hope my songs sound completely ruined, um, at least the ones I've uh, recorded so far. But there is some kind of like, you know, creepy distortion, or creepy is not the word, but like, yeah, there are some uh, like weird distortion going on uh, on many of these songs. But uh, anyway, yeah, we're gonna do this song now. It's called Relativity. It's the eighth track that I've released so far on this uh, official band thing, you know, on Spotify and whatever platform you listen to. Uh, you can look up my band. It's called Merthil or Merthil, which, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's an okay name. But uh, anyway, we're gonna do this sort of progressive uh, black metal, death metal, whatever song. Um, it's pretty intense at times, but still got some very like melodic moments. But it's pretty raw as well as many of the other songs on this first record. You can go check out my catalog if you want to. There are just like sort of demos out, out right now, but yeah, anyway. Uh, three and a half minutes in, now into the video, I'm gonna start this song. This is 11 minutes long, and um, yeah, let's do this. Sounds pretty trash. I also have to add that this sounds pretty bad because of the fact that I was sort of in a rush when I was finishing up this song, like, for upload. And uh, it had such uneven uh, sound level, so I had to, like, compress the whole song. So that's why it sounds pretty bad. It's way... it's a, There's a lot of compression on the master, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, I think it sounds better n near the end. Sounds like a mess with all this compression.
level of audio. Show to 
to the above Still you go for the unknown vocals are pretty good though but then again it's recorded with a new sound card so it's pretty clear and not freaking distorted for no reason this guitar is for one I left that in on purpose, I wanted to just have some sort of closure to the song, you know. It's like when I remove the guitar from the microphone and it's still, it's still on, you know. But yeah, I mean, I think this is a pretty decent version of the song considering, like, I had, like, probably the least amount of time um, when I was about to put out this song. Because I don't, I think... My sort of strategy of putting out songs is not really optimal because, I mean, at least for these tracks on the first record, or it's gonna be the first record, whatever, uh, I would like, first of all, these songs are pretty much, like, up to two years old, even more by now, No, I don't know, two years old, two and a half years, I don't know, what year is it? Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's like two years old, the songs. And, uh, except down through the valley, but, um, it took a lot of time to build the songs 
and uh, the future tracks will be a lot better, I think. But um, uh, I mean, the way I like recorded these songs, it's like I've uh, recorded so many of the same sort of uh, like guitar tracks or whatever, or guitar riffs, you know. Because uh, like at first it sounds bad, then I can't play on time, and then you know it's out of tune. Then I need to change strings and whatever. So it took a lot of time for me to like get into the groove of things, you know. But um, and then what's what happens like near the end is like I I want to get as as good of a, like a take as possible. So then I end up with like twenty tracks of the same like riffs and whatever. And then I like you know in the in, in near the end uh, when it's uh, time for like to release it, it's like I want to. Uh, I want to have everything recorded, so I have like one like week of recording, just recording, and then like one week of just mixing, and then it's so freaking tiring to have like 500 tracks, so uh, I know that's not an ideal strategy, but like, I want to have like as good of, as good of, a tr as good of tracks as possible, basically, and then I like sit there, and then like, I don't want to mix it, because it's so boring, you know, sometimes depending on what project it is. And then, like, I have work and stuff to do. So I have, like, one hour a week to freaking complete the shit. And then when it comes time for release, I have to freaking just release it. So that's where this, like, sort of demo track's out right now. But I, I need to, like... I really need to, like, just get going, just finish all these tracks. Uh, you know, the mixing and stuff like that. Maybe re-record some, some parts of it. And uh, I would just want to, I just want to release like a full album for once. And uh, but then again, it's this this freaking old sound card that I had that fucking like destroyed my tracks because like I can compare the vocals of this song, for example, especially near the end, and uh, re like compare those to other like s vocals on other tracks I released, like Beneath the Moonlight. There's a clear difference. There's a very clear difference because uh, Beneath the Moonlight sounds worse because of the freaking old sound card and the stupid distortion stuff that happened without, without like, yeah, without, I don't know, no reason, really. And also the metronome leakage, which doesn't come from a microphone, I can sit and just record my electric guitar through the sound card and then like the metronome leaks, like I don't, yeah. That's pretty stupid, but you just have to keep your hopes high for the future because my next album will be like full of bangers pretty much. I mean, I like every track on that record and uh, in some way or another, you know. Well, there's one that's not pretty much up to par really. Uh, it's an acoustic uh, small track, but yeah, it's uh, the next album would be much more definite if you, you know what I mean it's like um, it's like on this first I don't know how many people are still tuned in like listening but I'm gonna keep going anyway uh, on this um, on this first album that I I released you can hear that there's some insecurities or whatever in the songwriting because it's like you know I just jammed around and then like oh I found found like a riff I wanted to use and then I like sat around like, okay, what am I gonna put before or after this? How how am I gonna start the song, you know, and all that stuff. And then like, I sat with the song so much, so much, you know, to like build, build songs. And I think all the tracks are pretty decent, you know, for a debut album. Some more than others, you know. But uh, on the second album, it's like you know, I had a I had a riff. And then like for example, like one song is based on uh, like my first riff I recorded with a sound card to the computer it's like two years old but then i used that riff and then like and then like i made another riff very quickly i'm like yeah that fits that's the one that's the one you know i'm gonna use and then like very quickly i crafted these songs that are pretty good actually whereas like in this album it's like the songs were like okay i'm gonna i don't know i don't know where to keep going i don't know what style you know i don't know where, what to do you know whereas uh, the other the next album will be very much like more secure in that sense or whatever you want to say it's like 
I know I knew where to go, and the songs are pretty much pretty. Uh, the songs are pretty good, pretty like I don't know I don't know if definite is the right word, but it's like yeah, it's like you know, on points, and there's more variety also I think. Uh, this it's less raw. Still gonna have some of these heaviness to it and like rawness, but it's more progressive. I don't know, and more like. There, there's a decent amount of like hard psychedelic rock. It's still very fast at times, uh, but it's more sort of like embracing other sides of the music. You know, it still it still does have a decent amount of this um, this rawness, this black metal rawness or whatever you want to say. And uh, I think it's a good, well-rounded, well well-balanced record. Uh, I'm talking about the future record now. The next record, which hopefully I'm gonna start uploading songs from after this uh, last track here that I've that I'm gonna upload in two weeks or so. Uh, so I don't know if everything goes as planned. Uh, I was released the uh, first so sorry the first song of the next record in June, maybe the twenty first. Um. Or I might have a sort of like an extended break. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really plan uh, that much. But I'm gonna try to have this this record out that we've listened to now uh, on like the seventh of June or something. And then I don't know. I have some sort of extra tracks also I want to work on. There's a cover from a band that um, you like and I like. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I don't really like to do covers though, but like, that one is, has got some pretty decent parts and um, some originality to it. Like, m many of my covers do, do have some originality to it, because otherwise, why would you listen to them, really? I mean, uh, that's sort of like the way I think sometimes, you know. But anyway, I've gone on for long enough. It's over a 23 minute video now. And uh, I hope you I hope you made it this far. If you did, like comment something down below. I don't know. And uh, I hope this video is uh, like you know made sort of a difference to you in your life. I don't know, <laughs> so that I didn't do this uh, for nothing. But I don't know. I wanted to do this. I did this for me, kind of in a way. But yeah. Anyway, have a good one, and comment your recommendations down below for me to listen to. And uh, check out my other tracks from uh, my Marthil project. Uh, wherever you listen to music, really. This out here on YouTube as well, you know. This wherever. Soon you can buy a CD also if you want to. But uh, yeah. Anyway, go follow me anywhere and go support me. Whatever you want to do, you know. Listen to my playlists. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. So, rock on. Bye-bye. <laughs>